Hi everyone, welcome to Madison Audio YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about the Superior Vena Cava. Superior Vena Cava is a large venous channel which collects the blood from the upper half of the body. It collects the blood from the upper half of the body. It is a large venous channel and drains into the right atrium. It is a large venous channel which collects the upper, uh, upper half of the body. It collects the blood from the upper half of the body and it is drained in the right atrium. And it is formed by the union of right and left branchiocephaly or insominate vein behind the lower border of the first right costal cartilage close to the sternum. It is formed by the right and left branchial arch, branchiocephalic arch vein which unites together to form it or it insominates in the vein behind the lower border of the first costal cartilage and close to the sternum. Each branchiocephalic vein is formed behind the corresponding sternoclavicular joint by the union of the internal jugular and the subclavicular joint by the union of the internal jugular and the subclavian veins. In the joint, it is union of the internal jugular as well as the subclavicular joint. In the vein, it is internal jugular and the subclavian vein. This is the introduction of the superior vena cava. It can be asked as a short note question. Now we will see the diagrammatic representation. This is the diagram of the superior vena cava. This is the superior vena cava where there is the union of the right internal jugular vein, the subclavian vein, forms right branchiocephalic vein, the left branchiocephalic vein is the superior vena cava. So this part collects the whole blood from the upper body and gives into the right atrium. This is the right atrium. This is the diagrammatic representation where the superior vena cava can be seen properly. Please do have a look at it. Now we will see the course. The superior vena cava is about the 7 cm long. It is 7 cm long. It is related with the internal costal muscle. Like it, it is behind the lower border of the sternal vein in the first right and the right costal cartilage. It is in the first right costal cartilage and pierces the pericardium to the opposite the second right costal cartilage and terminates by opening into the upper part of the right atrium behind the third right costal cartilage. And it has no walls. This is the course of the subclavian superior vena cava. Thank you. That's all. If you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you have any doubt and comment it for more videos, please do subscribe. Thank you.